there's only a handful of people that owns something like this that we know of. In terms of the scale and size, there is no comparison. I was blessed enough that this has been bequeathed to me, but then the res it's more of the responsibility that I have towards it. I decided to bring it to the Gemological Institute of America because I wanted an international laboratory to be able to certify it, to identify it. The Canadian appraiser gave a very conservative appraisal. He said that it was between 60 to 90 million. Hong Kong gave me 150 to 200, which is a, quite a scary number. Of course, you get excited when you hear that, wow, what a wonderful number. But it's also, wow, the insurance is going to make me pay. <laughs> People are more concerned of its value compared to its historical importance, what it represents. Our oceans are very delicate and who knows if you're gonna ever find something like this again. If I decided to sell this today, who knows if it'll just end up in a vault again. I want it to be uh, shared to different museums or galleries, you know, a good exposure so that the people will know that it does exist. <laughs>